Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Generation Tech. My name is Ben. Up until very recently, we didn't know much about the new Han Solo movie, but since about a week ago, with the release of the new trailer, and now the release of images of several new toys, the marketing engine is in full swing. And from these toys, we can learn several interesting things about the Millennium Falcon and some other aspects of the movie. We can see from the Hasbro toy of the Falcon and also this Lego set that the ship will indeed be in its original blue and white paint job. We kind of saw this in the trailer, but not clearly. These toys confirm the satellite dish does indeed face upwards. From the Lego set, it looks like the dish is on an arm that can be moved into the upright position. And the Hasbro toy gives some clue about how the Falcon shed the old paint job. There is a button you can press to turn on some hyperdrive sounds and lights. Hasbro say, push the button a third time to pretend that your ship picks up even more speed and watch the panels pop off before rumbling to the finish line. This is a clue that there's a scene in the movie where the Millennium Falcon goes so fast it starts ripping off panels revealing details that we know from the original Star Wars films like these holes. Perhaps after Han has installed his new hyperdrive in the Falcon and it can go 0.5 past light speed. On the Hasbro model, you can also see that the front section, which will become a fork in A New Hope and was originally for pushing cargo containers around, is filled in. But it does have a hinge and looks like it opens up. So what's in there? Is that a cargo container wedged in there? Or perhaps it's another small ship, like an escape pod? A lot of people are pondering this question too. In the description of the Lego set, they write this. Outsmart the villainous overseers and escape the Kessel Mines aboard the amazing Millennium Falcon. This kind of hints that you will see an escape from Kessel aboard the Millennium Falcon in the movie. I mean, this was kind of obvious anyway, since it's the ship that made the Kessel Run in 12 parsnips. The Kessel Run is the smuggling route that Han followed to smuggle spice from the spice mines of Kessel. How do you mine spice, by the way? I mean, don't spices normally come from plants? Are they plants growing underground? I can't believe I'd never thought of that before. Anyway, the Kessel Run normally follows a route that takes 18 parsecs, but Han did it in 12 by flying closer to black holes and dangerous anomalies, etc. So I'm now guessing that this dusty looking planet that we see in the trailer may be Kessel, and this shot may also be on Kessel near the spice mines due to the smoke in the background. We know from Rebels that Kessel does have a sandy, dusty appearance, and the spice mines do let out smoke. Also, the Lego model refers to villainous overseers. Could that be the Pike crime syndicate that run the illegal spice trade on Kessel? Is that who these guys are in the trailer? Or do these guys work for the Pike crime syndicate? Also, why has Han replaced the cockpit door with a coffee machine? Okay, I guess that was just something fun for the Lego model. Also, one more thing about the Falcon's appearance and pimped out interior is that Han may have allowed the Falcon to deteriorate into a shabby state on purpose. Han Solo actor Alden Enric told Entertainment Weekly, it's safer in the galaxy to fly something that looks like a piece of junk. People underestimate you, especially if you're up to no good. Kind of like how you're more likely to get pulled over if you're driving a Lamborghini. Lando, played by Donald Glover in the movie, does look like the sort of person who would drive a pimped out vehicle. Anyway guys, that was just a short video to talk about what these new toys may or may not tell us about the movie. Please leave your comments below, subscribe if you're new, give this video a like, and if you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.